Alrighty, folks, so this is my week four Pokehaven Gym Leader Challenge. Today we are going up against V. V's got a water team uh, going up against uh, my dark types today, so... Kruk is probably not going to get as much value as I've gotten in some past battles. Um, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully I can pick up a, an early knockout um, having the scarf, and then uh, Kruk can just take off at some point, so we'll see about that. Um, but let's see what V is working with here. So uh, there's Lapras, Primarina, Dracovish, Golisopod, um, Blastoise, I don't know why I blanked there, and Crawdont. So, all right, so I gotta be careful of uh, first impression on, um, on Golisopod. Um, that's gonna do... A lot of damage because I'm dark type, so that's fun. Uh, so let's see how how I can get around that. Um, I'll go with Incineroar because I think Fake Out has a higher. I think Fake Out has a higher priority than First Impression does, uh, or if they have the same. Priority then Incineroar is quicker, so I can fake out Golisopod and then first impression um, won't do anything anymore. So that's uh, that's my plan. I, I don't even know if V is gonna lead with the Golisopod. Um, so leading with Incineroar, leading with Incineroar is uh, a bit of a gamble, but at least I can still get the first impression or uh, the fake out off either way. V's got an awesome trainer card. I love that background. Alright, I'm calling Golisopod. Tiny. Blastoise, okay. Okay. Um, also, for those of you watching this on YouTube, uh, since neither of us are streaming this match, we have agreed beforehand that none of us will be Dynamaxing. So, none of us will be Dynamaxing. So let's start with the fake out and uh, just get that little bit of damage and get that flinch. Leftovers, I'm again, I'm assuming. Okay. Leftovers. What could I go into that would be decent here against Blastoise? Not much. In mean, the Hydreigon. So. Actually, that is perfect. Wow. That is really perfect that I decided to parting shot. <laughs> cool. I get rid of the yawn. And we'll bring in Hydreigon. <laughs> okay. So it's going to heal back up to full with leftovers, but it's now minus... Minus one on each of its attacks. So, I like that. Um, it's possible that V will switch. I'm just going to go for a Dark Pulse. So maybe we can get a Flinch. We lose some health because of Life Orb. Yes, we get the Flinch. Yes, we get the Flinch. Okay. Okay. So we know that we outspeed the Blastoise, so we can just keep Dark Pulsing here. Um, and maybe we can keep getting... If we get another flinch here, this would be super cool. No, okay, no no flinch. Okay, so Water U-Turn, which unfortunately doesn't do a whole lot to us. But uh, V is going to get uh, Blastoise out of there. Um, that is most likely what V was going to be doing last turn, so it's, uh, lucky that we picked up that flinch, so she couldn't get Blastoise out last turn, and we get a little bit more damage done to it. Actually, I should bring up a notepad, so I start, um... V's bringing out Dracovish. Just so I can start recording stuff as we're going through. Okay, it's entirely possible that this thing is going to be... It would not surprise me if this thing is scarfed. So 
I'm gonna go for Protect, just to see what move she's going with. I'm guessing this thing is, is Scarfed. Outrage, okay. That is very likely... That is very likely a Scarf Outrage. So I'm gonna flip into uh, Grim Snarl so that we get... Um, So that we, uh, if, uh, if V goes with Outrage again, then we'll take no damage. So here comes Grimmsnarl. Outrage. Let's go. Doesn't affect Grimmsnarl. Beauty. So let's get a Thunder Wave off. Um, now, especially if this, uh, if, if Dracovish is Scarfed, V has to switch. So if there's a if there's a switch here, then we can uh, basically be all but certain that Dracovish is scarfed. Because if it is scarfed, um, it's it's not going to be able to touch Grimmsnarl whatsoever. Okay, yeah, V withdrew. So here comes Blastoise. So now we're definitely going to be outspeeding Blastoise. It's going to heal a little bit with the leftovers. It's going to heal a little bit with the leftovers, but we're going to Spirit Break. And we should be able to take out Blastoise here and pick up a knockout. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. That is what I'm hoping for, so let's see what happens. Break. Perfect. We get a knockout. Goodbye. by Grim Snarl. All right. Let's see what comes out next. Primarina. Okay. So Spirit Break is just normal effective. We can put up screens or we can paralyze it. I think I'll go with just priority paralyze and hope it lands. It does. Moonblast goes through. Okay. Grimmsnarl down. Very nice. Okay, so... Alright, so what do we want to bring in here to deal with this Primarina? Um... I actually don't know what I want to bring in here. Let's go with Obstagoon. Um, I'm just gonna do my usual Obstagoon strat with Obstruct to get burned and then Facade. Obstruct. Get the burn on myself. Okay, it was paralyzed anyways, which is okay. So now we are burned, and we go with Facade. We should definitely outspeed it because um, uh, Primarina is paralyzed. So there's our Facade. Almost! Oh, man. Okay, Primarina picks up another knockout. Okay, so I'm going to go with Incineroar here.
Um, and we're just gonna use the fake out to pick up a knockout here. Unless she, unless she decides to switch here. She could very well switch just to prevent the knockout. Because V most likely knows that I'm I brought this into fake out and get a quick knockout. So I mean with it being paralyzed and being slower than the majority of my team, I think everything on my team, because it's paralyzed, it was basically gonna be a knockout either way. At least I think it would have been. So consider use fake out. Yeah. This actually, you know what? This would have been a great place to bring in Kruk. This would have been a great place to bring in Kruk because it was basically a guaranteed knockout. It was already low on health. I could have gotten the first Moxie trigger and then Kruk could have run rampant. That would have most likely been the better play. That would have definitely been the better play. Like 100%. Alright, so let's see what V is bringing out next. We've each got two knockouts so far. Golisopod. Okay. Which makes sense because now it can first impression. Just Darkest Lariat. Oh, close combat. No knockout. Okay. Here comes Darkest. Yikes. That is not a lot of damage. Um, oh boy. Okay. I think we just take the Incineroar, or the, uh, the Knockout, yeah. Um, alright. One Knockout and then Incineroar was KO'd. Alright, um... Golisopod's tanky, and I don't think Kruk is going to be set up to take it out just yet. Really don't want to bring an Absol, but I've got the berry, so... Yeah, let's go bounce. So Incineroar was KO'd by Golisopod. We go. Okay. Avoided the close combat. Close combat, I seriously think would not have done a lot of damage because, um... Oh wait, no, it's defense drops, right? Not attack drops. It's defense drops. We got the berry though, so... Here's Lapras. Lapras ain't gonna take a whole lot of damage from this bounce. We get a Paralyze, though! Oh my goodness. Okay. We get a Paralyze. Let's go close combat. We can outspeed this Lapras now. Wow, that was a lucky Paralysis. Wow, that was a lucky Paralysis. Yes, let's go. Yes, Absol picking up one knockout. Wow, that was such a lucky paralysis. 
I can't believe that. If I didn't get the paralyze there, I don't think I would have got the knockout. Wow. All right, what's coming out next? Sakura, that's the Golisopod, yeah. Okay, so, um, this is definitely gonna be a first impression. So I would just wonder if I wanna switch, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we just go for the bounce again. This is first impression. Yeah, goodbye, Absol. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, let's save Krook for the end. Let's bring in Hydreigon. Absol was KO'd by Go Lissapod. Let's just try the Draco Meteor, see if we can Liss. Let's try the Draco Meteor, see if we can get a knockout. At the worst case scenario, uh, it's going to put it into the withdraw range. It lands. So it's either a knock. It's a knockout. Let's go. Hydreigon gets one knockout. Golisopod was KO'd by High Dragon. Okay, so I've got to deal with Dracovish. Um, I have to deal with Dracovish still. And I don't know what V... I don't remember what V's sixth is. Here's Dracovish. Okay. So, this is most likely going to be the Scarf Outrage... Um, which there's not much I can do about it. There is not much I can do about it. It's gonna outspeed me. Leech life. Wow. I survived. Draco Meteor hits. Let's go. Yes! Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. It was a crit. That's why it knocked out. I don't think that would have knocked out if that wasn't a crit. But our life orb takes us out. So the Dracovish actually gets a knockout. And here comes Krook. Uh, Hydreigon was KO'd by Dracovish. Crawdont, that's right. We got our Earthquake. Alright, it's down to Crawdont and Krook, and I'm Scarfed. So I'm outspeeding. Oh, this is so close. <laughs> Either way, whoever wins this, this is such a good match. This is such a good match. Aqua Jet for priority. Oh my goodness! Wow. Wow. G. G. Oh man, that was so good. Oh wow, GGV. That was such a good match. That was such a good match.